everyone so I'm back today with an empties um it's a cosmetics only empties I don't have shampoo or skincare or hair care or yeah or hair care skincare anything else um it's pretty much just makeup um I don't have that many items but enough that I want to toss it and um start saving up new ones um all of these products are things that I have used up completely and I will let you know if I would like to repurchase them or not. So to start off, um, I have these Skin Iceland um, makeup remover wipes. It says another 12 hour work day, way too tired to wash your face before bed, skin looks exhausted and irritated as I feel. Uh, makeup is breaking, you don't want breakouts, so it's like a cleansing towelette. Uh, I got these in an Ipsy bag, um, I believe they were October or November's Ipsy bag, and I can genuinely say that if I was able to purchase these like at a store, I would definitely purchase them again, because these, it took one towelette to take off my entire face, and usually it takes two, and with this one, there was still like moisture in it afterwards, so um, I do have to definitely say this these are great great makeup remover pads um i used up a lip liner this one was in mahogany oh plumbing around it's like um it's from real colors um I bought a different one, which is almost exactly the same color, um, and the new one I bought is from Bare Minerals, and it's an, um, electrified. I think I like the one from Bare Minerals a bit more than this one um, from Real Colors. This one seemed to dry up really fast um, once you got it down. Far, far, too far where it's a little fatter. The cap doesn't go back on, does, doesn't fit. Um, it doesn't glide on as smoothly as I'd like. So did I like the color? Absolutely. Did I like the longevity of the product lasting as a whole? No. So probably not a repurchase, but I love the Bare Minerals one. Um, this Loric Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, um, this is just a little sample, but I love, love this frickin' eye primer. Um, I think I like this one better than Too Faced, I like this one better than, um, Urban Decay. It just, like, I really like this one. Um, I put this on under my Paint Pop by MAC, whichever one I'm using, whether it's Soft Ochre, um, Bare Study, Painterly, Stormy, whatever one I'm using, I put this one under it and it just, like my, I could go out and not take my makeup off for like three days and my eye makeup would not come off. Um, oh goodness. I am giving, <sighs> retiring this beauty blender. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I have like three more to use. Um, to be honest with you guys though, I mean this is my new beauty blender. This is my old beauty blender. You can see quite the difference in color and everything. Um, but the Real Techniques like beauty sponge is actually a really good dupe. Um, I do enjoy this one as well. So, but it doesn't keep me from repurchasing the beauty blender of course. So I'm going to retire this one. This one's old and just needs to be tossed. Um, I have this um, Bikini Contest bronzer from Wet n Wild. Um, mine, I can't open it, but it shattered completely. Um, but I bought a new one. Here, let me show you. I bought a new one because I loved it that much. Um, but it just shattered and it's not worth making the giant mess for to buy another $4 bronzer. So that's that. I have this blush, um, True Match blush in 
Tender Rose. This is one of my favorite blushes. I used to keep this in my purse, but when I was at a friend's house, I dropped it and it shattered everywhere and literally this is all that was left. But in reality, I used pretty much all of it. Like, I hit pan before it shattered, which is probably why it shattered so fast and so easily. Um, Tender Rose is one of my absolute favorite drugstore or blushes in general um, I've ever tried. It's so easy to use. It's like very light wash of color that you can just throw this in your purse and you don't even really need a mirror to put it on, to be honest. So that's a plus and would I repurchase it? Absolutely. I don't know, I, I mean, I haven't repurchased it right now because I have so many blushes, but if I was like at the store and had like a coupon or something, I'd probably get it again. My dog's eating the hardwood floor. Bella, would you stop. Um, I then used up my well rested, my little sample well rested, and then I bought a full size of the well rested. So obviously, that's a repurchase. Okay, how many mascaras do I have? I used up three mascaras. Um. I use the Maybelline one by one repurchased. I already repurchased it. Love it. Um, used up the Colossal Lash Express Curved Wand. Um, I really like this one, but is it special? No. Ready repurchased this one, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I already repurchased it. I love it. It's one of my all time favorites. Probably has been for like the last four years. I used up the Maybelline Line Stiletto. This is my tried and true, ride or die, absolute favorite, must have, can't live without eyeliner for my wing. Um, just a felt tip eyeliner. I don't have enough great things to say about it. This is definitely my favorite. Yeah, I already repurchased it. And I actually repurchased two because Maybelline was having at Walgreens um, a coupon buy one, get one 30% off, and like extra care bucks or something. So I actually repurchased two of these. Yes. I used up this MAC lip gloss in Viva Glam Gaga 2. Just a nude lip gloss. It's kind of dead, it smells, but yeah. It's dead. It needs to be put down, put to sleep, in the grave, shut, shut the casket kind of smelly but I did use it all so that's good um the wet gloss lash and brow clear mascara completely used it up from both sides do I like it yes but I have the Maybelline clear mascara um which you comes with like 10 times the amount that comes in this so I just use that I probably won't repurchase this one and last, but certainly not least, um, I have the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Brightener. Um, I already repurchased this one. This one is, once again, another product just like my Line Stiletto, a tried and true. You know, I can't... I love it. I just love it. I can't say enough good things about it. I always rip off the top. Um, because it wastes a lot of product, but I love it. Love it, 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 love it. All of it. So that's it. That's, oh no, that's a lie. I used the NYX Matte Finish Spray. Um, I really like this one actually. I like this one probably as much as my Urban Decay All Nighter. So for price point, I'd purchase this one again instead of the Urban Decay All Nighter. But other than that, I believe that's it. Um, once again, I'm going to mention, I do have a friend that will be joining my channel. Her name is Kayla. Um, she came up with a wonderful idea for a new segment here on this channel called A Bust or a Must, um, where we will do a first impression on a product and tell you whether it is a bust or it is a must to buy. Um, she's awesome, she's really pretty, great makeup skills, um, 
so she will be joining the channel and we will be working side by side. Um, she actually is across country from me, so we will do be doing more things like through her filming half and me filming half and us putting it together, things like that. Um, but we'll definitely be punching out a lot more videos um, together and she's a lot of fun. I think y'all will really love her. Um, so look out for a bust or a must and um, give her lots of love when you see her in one of my videos soon. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm-hmm.